How are you everyone? Today, the National Unity Platform has released a tweet asking Mathias Simpoga to give reasons as to why they must not recall him from the commission. We all remember that there is, there is a conundrum in the NUP party where they advised the, the former leader of opposition Mathias Simpoga to resign from the commission which Mathias Simpoga ab objected to due to the 500 million shillings he accepted to receive. In a tweet which was done by the National Unity Platform, it said, I quote, Update, the National Executive Committee of the National Unity Platform sat on the Monday this week and considered the serious accusations of corruption and abuse of office against Honorable Matthias Simpoga. NEC resolved to recall him from the Parliamentary Commission if he does not provide a satisfactory explanation in writing within seven days. His office received this communication on Tuesday. This process became necessary after he was strongly advised to step down in public interest and he declined to do so. So that is a tweet which, which was done by the National Unity Platform. You clearly see that they wrote to the, the National Unity Platform convened a NEC. NEC is uh, a, a governing body within the party and came out with a resolution that they must ask Impuga to give reasons as to why he must not be recalled from the commission. Remember Matthias Impuga did an interview and said that he is not ready to step down. And to, in today's episode, I've come to talk about why the, the, the NUP is starting a process of recalling Matthias Simpuga, what it means for the body politic of our country, but most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to let you know that if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. <coughs> and if you are watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sula Mawagari, there's a lot of content of this nature. If your politics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. I dedicate this video to Sech Tore Koyasin, a political prisoner who has been in incarceration for more than three years. So, first of all, during the parliamentary exhibition, it was revealed that Matthias Simpuga, the leader of opposition, received 500 million shillings from the commission, which was not anchored in the law. And this has been a secret since 2022, and it was revealed two years later. Matthias says Mpuga did an interview after the party coming out to, tell, to advise him to step down, and he went on to say that he is not ready to step down. <laughs> Echokusai rata chini na, imitende ra commission na jia viram, jianja uloku bifevi dala. Commission na, abamu ulize, era gobele amateka, era embere mudi am parliament, era mbiki drum amateka katufuga am parliament. Adi la bumalo fuka commission na, ubo fuse commission na arabi dila baba kavona, so sababu vudu. Nti abako la matika kafuga parliament, echi tibachi wa mkule mbezo wa achibi inache nina. No ratio, tibasta inabu achigenda mu. After Matthew Simpuga refusing to step down, re, re, remember it is believed that in the meeting where he accepted to get the money, it was not a formal party meeting. Until may, maybe the NUP woke up to do a formal meeting and that is the next. next the National Executive Committee is a governing body of the NUP. In fact, it came out with a letter, and this letter was written by the acting president, Linda Zedriga. We all know, under the NUP constitution, when the party president is moving out of the country, he has to delegate his power to one of his deputies. And Chagulin moved out of this uh, the, the country and delegated the power to Linda Zedriga, the deputy party president of the northern region. So the deputy president of the Northern region is the one who convened the NEC meeting and they came out with a resolution which says, and I quote, in the resolution, the NUP came out with a resolution saying, uh, 
uh, Honorable Matthew Nsipuga, Member of Parliament, Nyendo Mukungwe, Parliamentary Commissioner, notice to show cause why the party should not recall you as a Parliamentary Commissioner. As you are aware, the nation has been rocked by scandal regarding corruption, abuse of office, and mismanagement of public affairs by the leadership of the parliament, the parliament of Uganda. Unfortunately, your name has been advisory mentioned in the said corruption scandal. You specifically accused of sitting together with the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, and three other parliamentary commissioners and unlawfully allocating a total of 1.7 billion shillings to yourselves as service award. On 6th day of May 2022, while you served as leader of opposition in parliament, in the said meeting you were personally allocated 500 million shillings. You admitted both in the meeting which the president convened at the party offices on 28th February 2024 and publicly that you indeed took part in the action which we are considered legal, immoral, and clear departure from the values of the objectives of the National Inter Platform. It goes against the Section 91 of the Leadership Code of 2002, which bars leaders from taking part in deliberations where matters of personal interest of them to discussed are to be discussed importantly. It goes against our commitment to the people of Uganda to handle public affairs diligently and public resources with care at a sitting held on 4th march 2024 to which you are invited but did not attend the national executive committee considered the serious accusations against you and resolved to ask you to show cause in writing why you should not be recalled from the parliamentary commission to which the party seconded you as a member you are requested to respond within seven days from the date of receipt of this notice to enable the National Executive Committee to take an up, up, appropriate decision. Signed and dusted, Lina Zedriga well, You clearly see that it was received by the Assistant Secretary on behalf of Commissioner Matthias Mpuga. That is the letter which was written asking Matthias Mpuga to write and show causes on, 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 on why he should not be recalled. I, I think, <coughs> for those who don't understand this letter, this letter is aimed at starting a process of recalling Matthias Simpuga. They are asking the former leader of opposition to strike down the reasons as to why he must not be recalled in a commission. And to me, I think Matthias Simpuga won't reply this letter, the way things are unfolding. And this letter is aimed at playing politics. It's true Matthias Simpuga took the money, and the, the man was immoral. It was incumbent upon the leadership of the NUP to discipline him by either recalling him from the parliamentary commission or, or otherwise. But I think this letter is aimed at playing politics because I know for sure that a com it is very difficult for a, co a commissioner to be recalled from parliament, especially the parliament which is headed by Matthias Simpuga, by Anita Among. I think the, the norm would be that the appointing authority must also have powers to recall someone they delegated to do the work of the party. But I know that Martha Simpoga is not going to reply this letter. And the NUP will go on to write to the parliamentary commission asking the parliament to drop Martha Simpoga. And I know for sure that the speaker Anita, Anita Among will refuse to drop him. After Anita Among refusing to drop him, it will it will make national unity perform the winner because it will go on to show the world that Matthias Spoga and Anita Among in the, is, are, the, are in the same cohort because they called their member of parliament from the commission and, Math, and, and Anita and Anita Among objected on this. So, by national unity platform starting this process, I know for sure it is going to end uh, when the national unity platform has asked the parliamentary commission to drop Matthias Spoga. And I know the Parliament Commission will refuse. So the national platform will come out as a winner after showing the public that Matthias Simpuga is in cahoot with the Speaker of Parliament. True. Truth is, the national platform is doing the right thing. Because we are not used to leaders cautioning one of the senior leaders in the party. Normally in the NRM, ministers, for example, stole iron sheets. No one was even suspended for one week. 
Okay, so we are not using those things even in the opposition. That's why even when Kizabes they came out to ask uh, Muriat and another my father that they got that money, the public was raged because we are not used to see those things. Okay, a person who a person from the opposition who was delegated to sit on the parliamentary commission as an oversight, I cannot be among the people who can appropriate money for themselves without a legal instrument. Okay, so Bobby Wayne is doing the right thing. Okay, I feel hard that one of our own is being cut, but that is a process which must be followed if you are to build democracy, if you are to build the politics of our nation. So, I think Matthias Simpuga is going to be recalled from the commission. This is the process which is in the beginning. Okay, and I also anticipate that Honorable Banita Mong will refuse to let go of Matthias Simpuga because even Matthias Simpuga came out to say that he's not going to resign, which will make him even a, a, more dev, a, 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 a bigger devil because you cannot remain in a position where a party delegated you, yet it does not want you to be in that position anymore. Of course, that's my opinion. Do drop me your comments by commenting about this. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I employ you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you on another one. Peace.